Welcome back to another episode on the Loverfella Minecraft server, and we are opening the daily key again right away to open this episode. We're gonna get something amazing. A mending book! You know what? I am happy with that, and we never check out the shops around spawn, so I figured we would start with that today. Maybe we'll actually buy something. I don't know. So all around spawn on the Loverfella server, there are little guys that sell stuff, and this guy sells custom runes, which give you amazing enchants that you can't get in normal Minecraft. Now, I went ahead and looked through every single rune this guy is offering, and he is selling one called Lightning Rod. Now, it costs 100000 so I have to go sell a couple things, but I can get the money. And basically, whenever you get below half a heart, like a, a single heart, it summons lightning bolts. Now, you might be thinking, that's kind of stupid, but I am thinking, we buy that, then we buy a creeper, and then we make a charge creeper attraction in the shopping district. Who doesn't like a charge creeper? Now, this is a pretty risky investment because the charge creepers are so easy to have blow up on you. But at the end of the day, that is what we're gonna do. I just wanna buy something and this seems like a perfect thing. We can put it right in the middle of the swimming pool. Um, oh gosh, it's gonna bring so many customers to us. Okay, so I just went and sold a bunch of crops and I actually sold a couple diamonds too because we were short on money, but we got enough money and we purchased lightning rod one. The problem is, I just realized this has a 40% chance to completely fail and you don't get anything out of it. But, you know how we are. We take risk on this server. We are going to apply this thing right now. Okay, so in order to get this to work, we have to apply this to a helmet. So obviously we don't want to use this crappy iron helmet we've been wearing. So we need to craft a diamond helmet, which is fine because we have tons of diamonds. And let us go. We have a 40% chance that it's not working. Oh, it did work. Oh gosh, I was literally freaking out. I was like, what just happened? Okay, so we hit on the odds, 60% chance. We hit it. We have lightning rod one on our helmet. That is our first custom enchantment, everybody. This is a big day for us here over at Team Isaac. Now, now we need to get a creeper and put him in the middle of the pond. Did I just say pond? I mean swimming pool. All right, so I have arrived at the swimming pool and Ben and Zach have not purchased a plot yet. So I think we are going to take the middle plot for the charge creeper. The best way to do this is going to be putting him in a glass box. Unfortunately for us, we can buy a creeper spawn egg. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, they're only 11,000. So we can afford a couple of these if we end up killing one. But the best course of action is gonna be shoving this creeper in the middle of a glass box so he can't explode on us. And then we just have to take fall damage repeatedly until a lightning bolt happens to hit him. And then we close him up and name tag him. All right, I got the creeper in the glass. He almost exploded on me, but it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and name him now before, oh, I guess we already have one named Bubbles. So we're gonna name the creeper Bubbles because the dolphin died before we could name him. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, he almost blew up right there. Okay, we are good though. We got him secured. He's named, he won't despawn. Now we just have to strike him with lightning, which according to this enchantment, we just have to get below a single heart. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but I think fall damage is gonna be the way to accomplish. Okay, I was gonna tower up and jump off to get below a half a heart, but luckily for us, we are starving to death because we never eat food. If we just sit here and wait, then obviously a lightning strike is going to happen and maybe, just maybe, it'll hit the creeper. Okay guys, I build up exactly enough blocks to leave me on half a heart. When we fall, we just hope that one of the lightning bolts from our new custom enchant hits the creeper, then we have to secure him as fast as possible so he doesn't explode. Oh, wait, I rolled. I don't know what happened, but we got a, we got a charge creeper. Yes, first try. Are you kidding me, everybody? Who saw that? Everybody put MLG in the chat. I am a genius. We got a charge creeper. We need to secure this thing as quickly as possible. Okay, we got it all secured. I don't think there's any way for it to get out ever. This is our new pet. It's named Bubbles and we shall cherish it forever. You are gonna bring us so much business. You don't even understand. Oh my, good. I love the way this creeper is looking at us. He is adorable. That's probably the coolest particle effect in the game. I wish I could get that around me. Imagine Isaac the charge. Like, I don't even know, I'm a charge player. Okay, that project was a massive success. Let's go check our fun slide donations. I have not looked at this since we built it. Um, I'm assuming the hopper is completely backed up at this point. Oh, and we're correct. So we want to make sure that we separate all this stuff from our inventory so we don't gain an unfair advantage because this stuff all has to be shared among the brothers. So it looks like we got a daily key, a protection one book, and some blaze powder. So nothing overpowered there, but let's go check the bulk storage below. Okay, we're in the bulk storage room. Let's go ahead and see what we've been left. Oh my goodness, I knew for a fact people would do this. 
This is so overpowered. That's taste bud gear. That's a freaking netherite ax. Oh my gosh. I want to keep it so bad, but we can't because I mean, we have to share this among the brothers, but it is so cool to see what everybody's left us. I mean, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. A crimson high fate. I've never even heard of that block. What the heck is this? I have to put one of these down. What is that? Oh my God, I don't even know what that is. A strawberry bow. Oh my goodness, that is way too overpowered, guys. I said to leave stuff that's fair and you guys went overboard. I mean, we have netherite tools. We got strawberry bows. We got taste bud armor. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Do we have anything else? And 37 diamonds, 64. Oh my gosh, I need to just get out of here. We're gonna have to have a brother meeting about all this. This is a little bit too much, I think. I should have known you guys would go overboard when giving us stuff, but what can you do? Oh, you know what? I thought that you had to update maps automatically, but I just came up here and looked at the map. Look how good our swimming pool is. This really shows how large of an area this is. You can even see where we just put in the creeper. I mean, this thing looks incredible. Look how symmetrical that whole giant swimming pool is we made. Um, obviously, there is this building right there, so... I mean, this is just incredible to look at. Our beehive, our fun slide. Man, I could look at Minecraft maps all day. I think we undervalue how impressive this is that they added this to the game. I know it's been a thing for so long, but I mean, how many games can you like do this with? I mean, that is so cool to me that you can make maps that look like this. Incredible. I'm also looking at this. We definitely need to bring our outer wall through here to make this like basically complete the city um, but other than that this city is almost done guys and we are going to need a new project before long there is very little room to expand in here um, when ben and zach moved in we really just took over this area quicker than i ever could have imagined so let me show you a future plan i have which is it's very close to the city but it technically won't be in it okay i'm up on the hill now and there is our amazing swimming pool we've been working on the last couple episodes and of course our new addition the charge creeper bubbles but let me show you what i plan to do in the future now this is where our property line ends right here at this green line and there's tons of players that have moved in all around us so we really don't have much room for expansion i think this little patch right here is the last area that me, Ben, and Zach have to build on. But then I saw this, and this has been here since like day two of the server. We had an amazing player named Crystals move in next to us and build this giant Coliseum type building. It was gonna be like a house for every single staff member on the server to put like their little, they could have like a little room to advertise themselves. But they have unfortunately quit the server and this building has remained empty ever since they left. Now. I'm going to try to get into contact with them on Discord or something like that, maybe on YouTube, and we are going to try to either purchase this from them or something, but I want to obtain this building and turn it into a massive fighting coliseum. I'm talking about a stadium that goes all the way around and has a central fighting pit, so we'll clear all these rooms out in the middle, and then we will hold wager matches right here in the middle. Of course, we'll take a cut but we'll let anybody, like Zach and Ben, they have some beef with each other. I mean, come on, everybody hates each other. So we'll have them fight to the death right here and we will take about 10% of the earnings. I think this is a massive opportunity for us. I mean, guys, I could never build something like this in survival Minecraft feasibly. Just look how big this building is and it's right next to our shopping district. In fact, if we could obtain this property, cause I haven't really seen this one improve either from, uh, it looks like, Kiera Katie owns this. So if we could obtain this property and this property, we could have basically like a clubhouse right before you enter the fight arena. I mean, this is going to be incredible. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. I think this may be what we have to do. I mean, you cannot pass up a property like this. Oh, and speaking of neighbors, I just walked out of there and look at this. Here's a neighbor right here. Look at that, they're flying up there. Hello. You are my fellow neighbor, and what is this? I thought it was TNT, but if anybody knows what this little emblem is there, I don't know what that is. Is it a heart? I don't know, but you know what? It feels good to come over to our neighbors. Oh, look at this. They, She lives right next to us, and she has been watching all of our videos, and she brought us some elytra. Now, unfortunately, I would feel very guilty taking these elytra, so I'm not going to be able to do that, but what we are going to do is give you a mending book because we are feeling generous today. Maybe in the future, I'll come over and take one of these. 
uh, and then we'll give it to one of you guys watching if you're on the server I'll find one of you and give you the elytra but for now we're gonna leave them here until I can talk to my brothers about this because it does feel kind of unfair are these barrier blocks what the heck are those how did a survival play wait what is this block is that glass oh it's glass I'm just stupid I didn't see the little things that's pretty hard to see you know what I mean there was like no texture on that glass but I mean, we gave our neighbor a mending book and she tried to give us some elytra. I just love our neighbors around here. If you guys are watching, you can always live next to us now. I don't know if there's much land left, but I love looking at the builds pop up. Look at that. That guy put an eye for Isaac, I think. He, he mentioned that to me in the comments one day. And right there, we have a little humble owner of a little emerald tree island. I just love looking around and seeing new stuff pop up. Somebody just said, teleport for a casino, win 2 million for only 10K. Come quick before I'm broke. I mean, I am going to that right now. Okay. Wow, this guy, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to like stereotype him, but this man looks like a scammer right away. He doesn't even have a skin. Looks like he just joined the server and he's ready to All right, we're, we are going to buy two spins on his casino. I love playing casinos on this server. People are so creative with how they make money. Okay, I just paid this man 20K to play his casino and he is just the worst business owner I've ever seen. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave him with my 20K because this place is so poorly ran, I don't even know what to say. Somehow I ended up with 10 candy drinks, so let's go place those at the pool because I mean, if we're gonna spend 20K, at least we got 10 cans of soda out of it. Ooh, I went to place these cans of soda at the poolside bar and there's a creeper and a skeleton. You already know we have to try to get a music disc. I mean, we are too good at this game not to get a music disc. All right, we have the creeper and the skeleton in the swimming pool. We have got to get a music disc here. And whatever disc we get, we will have in a jukebox for the poolside uh, like entertainment. We'll put it right here if we can get one here. It's going to be very difficult. Oh, come on. One more. Right, we might get it right here. We got it perfectly in line. We just need one more shot. Oh, gosh, it still didn't kill him. Don't blow up. Dang it. Oh, it took so long to do that, and oh my gosh, I had the skeleton hit him four different times and it still didn't kill that creeper. Well, we're not getting a jukebox today, but we can't say we didn't try. You know, I was thinking, Zach sent us this mail probably the very first day we got a mailbox. So this was like episode five, I feel like. And it says, this is Lover Industries with a limited time special offer. Now it says limited time, but there is no expiration date on this book. So it says that he will make us a redstone door for only $22,512. Now, I am extremely interested in this. And there's a 50% discount, not that we need it. It's only $22,000. Think about it like this. He said he would build us a redstone door for $22,000. And he didn't say how big the door could be. I'm thinking we asked Zach to make us a nine by nine piston door. Now, if you're like me, I don't even know how to make a four by four piston door, let alone a nine by nine. So, I mean, this could be a giant time waste for him and he's gonna get like no money for it. Back in the day, 22,000 was a lot of money, but nowadays that is literally like pocket change and he is going to be making us this door. Next time I see him online, I'm going to present him with this coupon and explain why we need it. Now, I'm thinking we put it on the swimming pool as a grand entrance into the swimming pool. And I just, I don't know. I feel like we have to use this coupon. And again, I see nowhere on here where it says it has to be a simple redstone door. So we are going to take him to the cleaners and rinse him. And if he doesn't, stick by his coupon that we know not to do business with him in the future so we may have a nine by nine redstone door in our future let me know what you think about that in the comments down below or could we go even bigger a 20 by 20 is that even possible well it will be by the time he's done i mean he might get a viral video out of that a 20 by 20 oh the possibilities are endless guys also somebody left me a sign in my base now i don't know who did this but it says eat um as you can see by my hunger bar at the bottom guys I don't eat. I wait till I starve and then I sprint to a chest like this. I'm pretty good at it. There's no food in there, no food in there, no food in there. Okay, see, maybe I've ate it all. There is no food in my entire base. Oh my gosh, see, if, if we ran out of food, apple, see, bam, I'm good. Never run out of food because I am like a little rat. I find a slice of pizza when I'm starving to death. So no more putting you need to eat in chat, guys. Somebody put it in my base now. I just kind of go with the flow. I never remember to eat, so I wait till I start taking damage, and then I activate instant mouse mode, and I will find food. Okay, so I just harvested the bamboo. Not that you can tell because it grows so fast, but it says we have to have eight blocks of bamboo near the pandas to get them to breed now. 
I, is a block of bamboo like the actual plant? Because that's what I'm assuming it is because I've never seen a crafting recipe for like a block of bamboo. So, I mean, hopefully this is enough. I mean, I put a ton of bamboo in here. Let's see if they breed. Is that, is that breeding? Oh, they did. Oh my goodness. We got a baby panda, everybody. Look at him. He is adorable. He looks just like his father or mother, whichever one that one is. He is a mirror image, but now we know how to breed him. You guys just worked extremely hard making that baby panda. Go ahead and enjoy some bamboo. Oh my gosh. You are adorable, little one. I'm going to feed you all the bamboo. You are going to grow up to be just like your parents. Does this make him grow faster, by the way? Because I just gave him an entire stack of bamboo. Oh, he sneezed. Is that what that was? Did anybody just see that? The panda sneezed. Oh my gosh, see, Minecraft does animals so well. I feel like I've had a new favorite animal. They all just did flips, those are little happy. Whoa, he's full grown already? The, oh, that answers my question. Apparently feeding a bamboo makes them grow instantly. I mean, that thing was a baby two seconds ago. Wow, we can multiply these pandas so fast. All we have to do is mass produce bamboo because you can, I assume this guy can breed right away, right? Oh my gosh, he can. So, I mean, we're gonna be able to mass produce pandas soon. This is a major breakthrough for us here. Oh my God, the possibilities here. Unfortunately though, that is all we have time for here today. Panda Breeding Empire coming soon.